Welcome back everyone for the second week of how to design a test blueprint. The outcomes for this week are designing a test blueprint aligned with the course ILO step by step, evaluating your test blueprint. As we have our timeline, for the first week, we knew the definitions of a blueprint, the benefits of having a blueprint. So now we are starting with the steps to create your own blueprint. Developing a blueprint follows six easy steps to form your own blueprint. The first step is to tabulate your curricular content. Second step, provide a priority index for each topic in the content. Third step is to calculate the weight of each topic or unit in the course. Four, define the number of items for each topic or unit. Five, determine the cognitive level for each content area. Select, then the sixth step is to select the appropriate assessment tool for your test. First, we are going to see how to tabulate a curricular content. Start with the module description and learning outcomes. Test blueprints can include formative assessment tasks, summative assessment tasks, detail about timing. For the second and third step, they are the priority index and content weighting, and both of them are so intermuch interrelated and related to each other. Consider the importance of each topic in order to determine the best content weighting for the test as a whole. The number of questions for each content area should reflect the importance of that content area. For example, if one quarter of the teaching and learning time in the module was devoted to neurology, then approximately one quarter of the test weighting and content should be given to the neurology questions. Importance, uh, importance and priority can be measured by the impact and frequency as shown in this table. This can help you to formulate your own importance and frequency of each topic. For example, you have topic one that has two importance and frequently one so if we multiply this by this or if we have add this you will have three so it will have three questions at the end of the test this can be done to all the uh, items in your curriculum and then you can have the weight and the exam weight will be 100 percent so now you have you know which percent for each topic you are gonna put in your test or in your test blueprint. The number of questions for each topic, by multiplying the relative weight of each topic at total number of the exam, you will have what's called the number of questions for each topic. The number of questions for each content area should reflect the importance of that content area. For number for step number four and five, the purpose and the scope of the out of the blueprint. It is done by outline the learning outcome will be assessed by which assessment. Choose your methods of assessment to ensure that all of the learning outcome can be assessed. For instance, for assessing effective communication skills, we can use an objective structure clinical examination or mini clinical exam or tutor evaluation of the direct observation of practice. For assessing the student's ability to record history, we can use all of the previously mentioned exam types and also use an evaluation of a case write-up. Performing a comprehensive examination of all Renova system is best assessed by OSK or many CSX or tutor evaluation. Interpretation of relevant finding can be assessed by OSK, many CSX tutor evaluation of the case write up. 
at least three uh, must be known. Level one, the overall co course. Level two, unit level. Consider your level, year level. Level three, instrument level. We have a diagram of the four which, if you want to ask yourself what to do, which level is this blueprint will be held on, which course, then you can ask which outcome and which two. If you answer the four question, you will have your own purpose and alignment. The types of the question depends on the competency element need to be evaluated. And this is the sixth or the last step. Here we have a full blueprint where you can see there is the importance, the weight, and the assessment questions and the assessment marks as well. You can see that each topic has its own importance, its own weight, and the question assessment or type of question to be assessed, a number of the question in each assessment. This is what we call an effective blueprint. As we have seen, we have passed through the definition, the benefits, the steps, and now for our last step is how to evaluate your, your own blueprint or others' test blueprint. In order to evaluate your test blueprint, there was a simple formula suggested by Gioeda et al. in the Journal of Professional Nursing uh, 2022 which state the following. The degree of alignment equal the number of concurrent items divided by the total number of that items by 100. The degree of alignment can be expressed for various aspects. The degree of test alignment with the test blueprint regarding the total number of test items representing each topic, and this is called ALT. The degree of test alignment with the test blueprint regarding the total number of test items measuring each cognitive skills, and this was called ALC. Let's have an example. This test was a 20-question-based uh, 20 test each topic was represented according to its importance, its weight, and the number of uh, skills that it measures. Here is the first matrix, which shows each question and the type of skills it recognized. Then it was reviewed by two reviewers. Uh, the reviewers find out that sometimes this does not concurrent with the items. So he said that uh, there was uh, for example, item 3 that's supposed to measure a cognitive skills and it does not measure and apply and analyze skills and so on. Then, for here, he measured each of the items that congruent and each that are not aligned with what it measures or with what it is supposed to have in the weight. And then he has two formulas where he measured how many number of questions uh, divided by the number of test questions and then he uh, multiplied by 100 to get that the test has an, a congruent of 90%. Thank you all for listening. For further uh, information, the paper for this uh, test evaluation of the test blueprints are in the uh, further reading. Hope you have enjoyed our uh, course and hope to see you all soon. Thank you very much.